Upcycled jewelry is the best. What makes it even better? Using items that have personal or sentimental meaning to you. Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Laura Beth Love. I'm an artist and designer and the author of Boho Chic Jewelry, 25 Timeless Designs Using Soldering, Beading, Wire Wrapping, and More. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a selection of projects from Boho Chic Jewelry, and I'll talk a little bit about upcycled jewelry. Today I'm going to focus on upcycled jewelry with a narrower focus on flatware and tableware. Yes, I'm talking spoons, forks, knives, and all that great stuff. Many of you have seen these projects in my book, but it's a whole different thing to see them on video, and I'll talk a little bit about each one, and hopefully you will be inspired to create your own upcycled jewelry too. Let's get started. I wrote Boho Chic Jewelry throughout 2013 and had it published in 2014, and soon it was one of Amazon's best books of the year in the craft and jewelry category. For years, I had been the owner of a broken china jewelry business, Dysfunctional Designs, where I create beautiful heirloom jewelry out of antique broken china. So I've always had a great love for mementos. I'm a sentimental person. I love anything that has to do with family in the kitchen. And I also love creating projects and sharing them. So boho chic jewelry was the perfect place for me to do that. Now, here are the projects I'd like to show you. The first one is the fork tine sunburst necklace. And this one is featured on the cover of the book. And yes, I made it out of the tines of a fork. I use a pretty piece of glass in the center. And then by disassembling and reassembling an old worn fork, I create a beautiful new necklace. I make them in different finishes. And you can learn all about that in the book. But here are two that you can check out for now. Sometimes people ask me, what's the difference between recycling and upcycling? So I'm gonna explain that quickly. Recycling is when you have an object that you have used and then that object is transformed into something that can be used again. And one example of this is a plastic grocery store bag. You buy groceries, come home with the groceries and the plastic bag, you put the bag in your recycling bin, the bag is later recycled into another grocery bag that can be used again, that's recycling. Upcycling is when you have an object that you have used and then the object is transformed into something completely new and different that can be used again, but the new item has more value. So the difference between recycling and upcycling has a lot to do with value, and that can be seen in different ways. There's monetary value, but there's other types of value as well, such as aesthetic value and beauty. So look at these projects again, you'll see what I mean. The next one we're going to look at is the silver spoon earrings. And this is another project I really love from the book, and these earrings are made from the handles of spoons. They're made from the ornate design on the part of the spoon where the handle meets the bowl of the spoon. So it's that little thin area. And that makes these earrings lightweight. For this pair, I attached beautiful pearls to them and I added some ear wires, which I teach how to make in another one of my YouTube videos. So be sure to check that out as well. The next item is the double spoon bracelet. This is another favorite handcrafted from two ornate spoon handles. There are so many beautiful flatware patterns that have been created over the years. I don't even know if you could count them all. For this bracelet, I used hand beaded drops in some of my favorite colors to complete the look. That's a blue Peruvian opal and a moonstone and a mother of pearl bead. And you need two matching pieces to make this, but I have another project in the book where you can make a bracelet with just one spoon handle. So if you find that lone orphaned spoon at a thrift store, I have a project for that too. The final upcycled jewelry project I'm sharing with you today is the Vagabond Knife Bell Pendant. This is made from the beautiful handle of an antique silver plated dinner knife. What a beautiful pattern. And what makes it special is that it makes a delicate sound. Yes, suspended inside is you guessed it. Well, can you guess what it is that makes that sound? Take a guess and leave a comment below. You will find step-by-step -step directions for each of these projects along with tons of photos in the book, so check it out. If you're already a reader, I would love to know which project you like the most. Now, I'd also like to know, what's your favorite type of upcycled jewelry? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks so much for joining me today and I hope this video inspired you to create something or to upcycle something. I'd love to get those gears turning. So let me know what you're working on next. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back each Friday with a brand new video and sometimes something in between. See you next time.